Hello Pisces, welcome to your end of October general love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Now Pisces, how this reading is going to work today is I'm going to tap into an energy that's in or around you and your person right now who has had or have romantic feelings or interest in you and what you need to know about this person at this time during Mercury retrograde. Okay, this is someone who is energetically, romantically, or spiritually linked to you in some type of way. You could have dated this person in the past you could have casually dated you could have been in a very long term or a long distance or you know you've been married to this person um, or you could have broken up recently you guys may have lived together and you guys separated or you guys now are you know still talking and if there are communications it could be little to none it just really doesn't matter what the relationship status is between you and this person at this time I'm going to ask Spirit to come through with its messages of what you need to know about what you can expect from now until November 3rd. Okay, I'm doing this reading during Mercury retrograde. I want to see how Mercury retrograde is going to affect the sign of Pisces. Now, Pisces, because this is a general reading, not everything that I pick up energy-wise today will resonate with each and every single Pisces. So please take what resonates for you and leave the rest to someone else who needs to hear it at this time. If it is your energy that I strongly pick up in today's reading, just know that I have no control over it. However, if you wish to contact me for a more in-depth private reading for you personally in a video format just like this that you're seeing today i am accepting appointments at this time and also there's a lover special for 33 dollars and 33 cents should you guys want to take advantage of that i'm going to include all the details that you'll need <clears throat> or how to you'll have to contact me for um full listing availability instructions on how to book of which i'll leave in the description box below this video all right so pisces let's go ahead and get started i'm going to look at your energy their energies and what's standing in the middle between the two of you at this time what is it that they're thinking about doing that's different from prior or pre mercury retrograde and what is the cause of everything maybe there's something that you should know about something you were not aware of at the time maybe these are hidden influences which are surrounding you and your person that could be completely undetected by you so let's take a look all right for the sign of pisces here you guys are okay could be another cancer cancer pisces nope there you guys are okay the queen of cups he or she does not matter What's coming through for Pisces right now between them and their person? cards are huge so I shuffle them funny <laughs> thank you there you guys are so they were showing me the moon for a particular reason okay something's going on right now okay so I just need two more cards. Okay, show me the reasons behind it. Okay. The overall energy of this entire reading. Thank you. Leo may have something to do with it. Aries, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. We have Libra, Justice, 
We have Aries here, the Emperor. We have the Moon, that could be another Cancer or Pisces. We have Leo. We have Scorpio. Okay. And we have another air sign, could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. These could be somebody, who, I mean, the signs could be in your chart or heavily in theirs. Assign the roles as they fit for you, but I'm going to read it from one side first, and then we'll move on to the other side, how the other person is viewing the situation at this time. All right, so Pisces, what I'm getting here. I'm getting here somebody, Pisces, you know what you're doing when it comes to this person. I don't know why that was just the first message that came out. You know they love you. Though they have been pretty ridiculous in the past, said some ridiculous things, maybe some hurtful things. Both of you guys, I'm going to say, have done maybe a number on each other. Um, as I'm seeing here, justice, but then we have here working things out. Okay, now there's a little bit of back and forth here. This is like we make up to break up. We make up to break up. You guys may have broken up several times. Maybe this has gotten to the point where you guys break up just to break up or say you guys will end things, but always tend to gravitate back towards each other. There's this feeling of like, oh, it's like a you know, hamster on a hamster wheel. I don't know what it is that we're doing right now. Sometimes it's so hot. Sometimes it's so cold. And in a split second, it's like this person is just... You know kind of has me chasing my tail here I don't I really don't know what's going on they leave the situation but they always end up coming back you know they left they may have moved on they may have said you know this is something I cannot do and then here you know it shows me that you two just no matter what just cannot stop <laughs> whatever this is and so here it's confusing they have the moon and you feel like they they are keeping secrets from you so the moon also talks about trying to figure out what the other person is hiding trying to figure out if there's something that they're missing trying to see if you know they're just not seeing things the way they appear to be and perhaps it's all in their head okay that they're being disillusioned here and that the fog is really in their way and things are not as they appear so your person is right now feeling a bit emotional too with the moon and the ace of cups they have feelings here Pisces but they don't really know how to address it your person could be in a very complicated or a complex situation with another person right now somebody that they need to handle any kind of um issues with There's a lot of come and go come and go and I feel like it's because they haven't they know one thing for for a fact here is that they have love for you that they do love you though I don't know if they'll admit it they want to come back with the fool to have a new beginning they want to give this an actual chance to actually put in their all and their whole effort into making this work out with you but somebody here could be both who are maybe dealing with either another person a significant other a spouse or previous relationship or children from a previous relationship if there's a lot of external influences affecting you two both but I'm seeing here both of you guys want to be with each other but in a way I'm seeing Pisces you're kind of like what is it that you're hiding it could be you it could be them but I'm seeing here see you this is a little bit okay you want to marry this person later down the road you want a family with this person you want to have you want you know all your ducks in a row you want you know you to to have at least a stable job of employment a secure line 
you and both this person have, you know, pretty much all your ducks in a row here first. You want them to take responsibility. If they are a mother or a father to your children, you want them to, you know, do what's right and do what's fair and do what's, what's owed. Before you make this decision, before you allow them to just kind of come back into your life, you know, it's not a swinging revolving door right here saying this side, okay? It's like you can't just expect this door to just be like a revolving door. Eventually, I'm going to close and lock that door, okay? Now, there's something that you are also hiding here. For, I, mean, I don't feel like this is deception. In fact, because of everything I'm seeing here, you actually have maybe, you know, because of them going in and out, back and forth, not knowing what to do or how to fix things with you at this time, you have like a security measure in place here which you haven't shared with your person this could be an alternative and this can be plan b for you in case some, something doesn't work out but i'm seeing here you do want this thing to work you want marriage overall energy of this whole entire thing is the hierophant hierophant talks about marriage to me talks about you know having some sort of your your reading here talks about your you wanting your person to be more grounded, more stable, more secure about this relationship. You want them to be practical, want you know the whole shebang with them. But you don't want to be the only one putting in work. You're waiting for them. Maybe you feel like you've done a lot more for this relationship than they have. Now, both of you, the interesting part in this reading is both of you guys both feel that you one has done more than the other. And a lot of times you guys fight about some of the most ridiculous things. Okay, you guys really do know how to cut with words and so do they. I feel like that's kind of the thing. It's like you guys have this uh, like this understanding of what was said was only maybe said out of haste or out of anger. So you're not taking it too personally. But it's just this constant back and forwardness. Okay, as I'm seeing here, somebody here is like, I want us to you know complete this xyz all the eggs you know all our ducks in a row um i want marriage i want a family i want children i want i, I want this i want that i want this you know and then over here is kind of like i don't know what i'm doing right now i don't know what it is that i want but one thing i know for sure is i want you and i'm trying to figure out how we are both going to work now what's interesting here with the magician and the strength card because that's a very contradicting energy. I no wonder with the Seven of Swords right there. If someone's lying about it, there's deception. And then Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces right below it. Could it have something to do with another female water sign? Or could this be you? And could this be them? Uh, someone's drinking could have been also a thing. Someone's emotional... Someone's really emotional too and very emotionally insecure. Or they make you emotionally insecure. But see, nobody can really make us insecure, emotionally insecure. Security is just something you have innately, okay? If you rely or depend so much on the other person to make up or make control you for how you should feel, tell you how you should feel, that just says, you know, there's a level of codependency here. Like you are responsible for my feelings? No, no one is. We're all in, we're all responsible for our own feelings. But I'm getting here. There's a tendency of somebody saying, "Look, you are responsible for how I feel." Okay. 
You are supposed to make me feel better. You are supposed to do this and do this and do this. And it puts a lot of strain on this relationship. This couldn't be a lot of outside influences too. Somebody whispering in your person's ear saying, well, this is how your partner should be. Or they are whispering in your ear saying, well, this is how your partner should be. There's a little bit of mind games here. Here. and I'm feeling here with this coming out Pisces because I'm not I don't I'm not liking this energy not at all not like this in this combination Queen of Cups seven of swords magician and strength this talks about emotional manipulation and somebody saying you need to do X Y and Z to make me feel better because I'm not feeling well right now and this is what you need to do I don't like that and I don't like that very much <clears throat> And I feel like if this isn't you doing that to them or that them doing that to you, this could just be, you know, somebody here whispering, like I said, in your ear or their ear. Um, and that's just maybe that's what it is. You know, right now it's just you guys are separated by some sort of WTF. King of Swords. Okay. So let's clarify some of this. Look at this. Same thing. You know, trying to figure out what to do right now. Balancing of emotions. One foot in, one foot out. Should I wait? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I leave? And strength here, reverse. So, someone's very calculative too with the King of Swords. Okay, someone here is very controlling when it comes to you did what? you know, remembers all the wrongs that someone's done and holding that justice card there with the, well, tell me about this four of pentacles, tell me about this four of pentacles. The four of pentacles, okay. Again, um, the lovers reverse and the six of pentacles and the tower. So it's interesting, Pisces, are you purposely not wanting to work on this anymore because you want your person to do all the work now to kind of make up for lost times or to prove to you, you know, someone here is playing hard to get and someone here is secretly doing the bare minimum, yeah, in a relationship because of how they feel now. Hmm. Interesting. So this Mercury retrograde. If you can see here, I was just asking about this Four of Pentacles. What is it that they're hiding? Okay. And they're really holding back. They're really holding back. They're not giving. As you can see, this is hogging. Okay. And here it's like, I'm not giving anything here till I see it on the other person's side. I'm not putting in any effort here. I'm not giving you a dime. I'm not giving you a day. I'm not giving you a dollar. I'm not giving you an ounce of my time. I'm not giving you a kiss. I'm not giving you nothing. <laughs> I'm not even going to respond or apply to you. I'm not even going to come back and work on nothing with you until I see something from this side. So, obviously, these two people still want each other in the part of their lives. They just need a little bit of fixing. And I feel like it's this side, Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. This person's like, yeah. But see, with the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, they didn't want to leave. They see, I told you, both of you guys feel like the other person's wrong. <clears throat> they have justice, too. You know, that you did something harmful or you betrayed their trust in some sort of way and they ended up having to move away. They were so close to their wish fulfillment or having their wish fulfilled with you, Pisces. But this is them saying, you know what, I am acting this way and responding to you in this way right now is because of what you showed me. So yeah, me not giving you anything right now, I feel like has justice. But then they secretly still want to work on this thing with you. 
okay, with the eight six of swords. They are just wanting to move out of this ridiculousness of you two fighting back and forth about the same issue. Whatever it is, it's been nagging at you both. You guys are kind of like, I told you, it's like a hamster in a hamster wheel. I would not be surprised if the wheel or the world came out. Because I feel like that's how long it's been. Or that's how long this has been on you or your person's mind. That you guys have been thinking about this for some time. It couldn't have been about another person. Honestly, tell you the truth. What is this moon? Because they feel like there's deception here. They feel like you are up to something and whatever it is that you're doing cannot be trusted. Or you feel like that. You feel this that way about your person. The star and the sun. In the five. I told you there's other people. There's something here, Pisces. Okay, so your Mercury retrograde talks about somebody wanting to resolve problems and issues from the past, but they somebody here thinks the other person's up to something. Very interesting, Pisces. There's something coming up where the two of you may get into an argument about the same exact thing because I feel like what this Mercury retrograde is doing is there's unfinished, unresolved things from the past that you two have not gotten over just yet. And look at that. I was just talking about the world. That you two have not, whatever it is, maybe somebody's saying, yeah, I'm over it. You know, you know, we're, we're going to, we moved on from it. We're over it. This person is not over it just yet. Whatever that's happened between the two of you, something, I mean, they may play it off like it doesn't bother them or doesn't bother you, but there's something here that's still waving, weighing really heavily on someone's chest. Okay. And they're still bothered by it. And this may be a door to spirit, adjacent possibility, and angel of balance. It may break you guys up with the lovers reversed if you guys don't address it. Because I feel like the time has come, spirits like saying, talk about it or forever hold your peace. If you guys are playing games with one another, well, you guys both <laughs> see it as that's what's fair. Because there's something here. You guys have totally different views of the same on the same situation. It's like, no, it was your fault. No, it was your fault. You know, that kind of stuff going on. <clears throat> but this person really, really does care for you, Pisces. You guys both love each other. Deep down, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Hierophant wants marriage, want to be together, but it still bothers you or them. Whatever it was that happened in the past, that's what I'm seeing. It still is. <laughs> Look at that. Forgiving and learning. I rest my case, you guys. Pisces, this was the message that I got out of this. If you guys need a personal reading and see what your person's up to, what is it and how they truly still feel about the situation despite what's been said or done, go ahead and reach out to me, guys. I do have a lover special for $33.33. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end your video here. Somebody here is like, you know, I can't do this anymore. Give your relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. Spirits like trying to tell you guys, you guys belong together. You guys are soulmates, if not twin flames. But somebody here is, uh, is um, unable to get over you or what's happened. It still bothers them quite a bit, even though they act like it doesn't happen. It never happened. No, it never bothered them. Yes, yes, it did or it does. Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely did. Hope this video helped. And thank you guys for your time. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.